Okay, this article comes to us from Psychology Today, and it is written by Susan Albers, Dr. Susan Albers. Five Intriguing Facts About Intuitive Eating I recently had the pleasure of speaking with Evelyn Tribble, one of the co-authors of Intuitive Eating. For professionals who work with eating issues, she is like a rock star, Evelyn and her co-author Elise Reich were among the first authors to provide a clear alternative to dieting. They wrote a compelling book to help people understand why it is important to throw away the fad diet books and stop obsessively stepping on the scale. The approach is passionate and healing. It has been a lifesaver for men and women around the world who struggle with their eating weight and body image in a nutshell intuitive eating has taught people how to plug back into their bodies it use it's using your natural internal wisdom to eat when you are hungry and stop when you are full all we know as excuse me as we all know this is much easier said than done Yet people who have learned intuitive eating skills will attest to the fact that it can be done. I asked Evelyn to share some history behind the creation of intuitive eating. Here are five interesting facts you may not know about this timeless book. Number one, a new completely revised edition is just around the corner. A new edition of Intuitive Eating will be released in July 2012. The updated text will contain two new chapters. One will cover the intuitive eating research that has evolved in the past 10 plus years. There now are 25 scientifically based studies that show its efficiency and validity. Number two, intuitive eating started with a media glitch. Evelyn was making an appearance at Good Morning America. The next guest failed to appear, so she had two and a half minutes to come up with a topic to fill the spot. She spoke about insatiable hunger. A publisher who saw the segment called her up and said, I think you may have a book. Fortunately, she was or excuse me, fortunately, she had already contemplating, she had already been contemplating writing a book on this topic. It's a good example of how a crisis can turn into an opportunity. Number three, intuitive eating wasn't the original name. When the co-authors were discussing the best name for their book and concept, they considered many ideas. They tossed around many possibilities such as conscious eating, eating, and natural eating. However, this was too closely associated with the like alfalfa sprouts and wheatgrass. Although the phrase intuitive eating is commonplace now, keep in mind that it wasn't at the time. They coined a completely new term that is now part of everyday vernacular. Number four, Evelyn has written several books. While Intuitive Eating is her most well-known book, Evelyn is the author of several other books. So if you are a fan of her work, you may want to check out more healthy homestyle cooking, family favorites, you'll make again and again, the ultimate omega-3 diet eat on the run evelyn has another new book also coming out this year about using intuitive eating in the school system number five it's a close relative of mindful eating my clients and researchers ask me to explain the difference between these two concepts so i thought i would ask evelyn for her insight evelyn described several overlapping characteristics between the two concepts they both encompass compassion and developing a mastery of introceptive awareness 
when you feel on the inside such as hunger and fullness mindful and intuitive eating are or excuse me mindful and intuitive eating both agree that we should say no to fad diets and instead learn how to eat all foods in a satisfying manner the primary difference intuitive eating is based on 10 distinct principles which can be summarized by these three core characteristics which were validated by the research of Tracy Talca in 2006. Number one, eat for physical rather than emotional reasons. Number two, rely on internal hunger and satiety cues. Number three, unconditional permission to eat when hungry and what food is desired. Mindful eating is a related, excuse me, mindful eating is related to specific Eastern principles of mindfulness. She believes whatever path moves you forward is the one you should take.